Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, beings of all age, shape, ability, and gender, welcome to Tuesday Night Breakdown, brought to you by the Cosmic Crystal Wrestling League. Now we've got a hell of a show for you folks. Tonight, uh, Chewbacca makes his first appearance as Cosmic King Champion, Pepsi Man continues his open challenge, and as our main event... We have a title match between the challenger Undyne and our reigning Crystal Queen champion, Bayonetta. Now, that seems like a lot to process, but we're just gonna keep coming at ya right with the first match, which is going to begin just now. Now, Scorpion was uh, embarrassed somewhat at the Imperial Bumble at our last event, Fandomania. And because he had the lowest recorded time in that of anyone ever at 34 seconds. Now that wasn't Chewbacca's um, fault directly, but since Chewbacca was the one who won it, Scorpion is trying to prove himself by defeating him here today. He's here with his partner and manager, Sub-Zero. Oh, sorry. Introducing the verse, the challenger from God knows where. Scorpion at Sub-Zero! trying to win back some of his lost pride that got damaged in the uh, Imperial Bumble. Introducing now the champion! Your Cosmic King Champion, Chewbacca! Now obviously Chewbacca is the favorite to win this matchup as he is currently our Cosmic King Champion. But I wouldn't put too much past Scorpion, especially with his manager here at the ring with him. And we're underway. It seems Chewbacca's trying to come to an early advantage by just bouncing his opponent off the ropes. And Scorpion is taking his time getting up, which allows Chewbacca to go quickly into a roll. Chewbacca is very much pressing his advantage, both in his early offense and his size. It seems that Scorpion is just pretty much taking it at this point. <laughs> And Chewbacca's showboating. Which can be forgivable. He is currently the best in our league. Scorpion, if he was hoping to... Oh, perhaps this is what he's looking for. He's hoping to regain some of his pride by at least putting on an offensive showing here. And it seems like we're going to have a bit of trouble doing that because Chewbacca is just on a roll today, immediately breaking out of the hold and turning it around on him. Oh, but Scorpion's not going down without a fight. It seems that this is... Oh. A DDT. Nice. Um, it seems that this matchup is very much using uh, the ropes rather heavily. Oh. And just tossing them around. Scorpion is quite strong, despite how uh, quickly he was eliminated. Here's hoping that this... Uh, this is enough to get his momentum back and keep his career going. But there's that Wookiee strength. Someone is very confused as to who is fighting. <laughs> With that uh, spear sign in the background. They're trading blows. 
and going for a grapple, which is immediately turned around, and a half-hearted punch to the back, which is immediately returned! <laughs> and someone actually connects with a grapple. Going for an early pin here from Chewbacca. And, and Scorpion kicks out on two. A knee to the back of the head. Oh, here's some signature offense. It seems like they both used the same throw there. Oh, going for a pin. And another kick out at two. Seems Chewbacca's a little, getting a little cocky here and going for the pin a bit earlier than he should. Oh, setting up for something. It's a power bomb. It's the last ride! I didn't know Chewbacca had that in his arsenal. He's going for the pin. Oh, but his partner distracted the ref. Broke the count. Seems that Sub-Zero and Scorpion aren't, aren't past playing a little dirty. But Chewbacca seems to not let that dissuade him. He is beating the shit out of Scorpion. Even with his manager on the side, I don't know how much longer he can stand up to the onslaught of this Wookiee Fury. Oh, are they taking it outside the ring? Uh, Sub-Zero's helping his partner up. Oh, <laughs> Chewbacca's just taunting. Oh, they're going outside! That might not be the best plan. But then again, if Sub-Zero does touch him, ooh, then <laughs> Scorpion will be disqualified. Chewbacca with the bad manners. Oh, and a code breaker! Ooh. It seems Chewbacca is just brutal today, and given Scorpion the jitters as he clips through the bottom of the ring. And now he tries to break Sub Zero's, er, Scorpion's ankles. That seems like we have a count out coming. What's the ref's count out? He seems to have stopped for some reason. Eight. Oh, he, he makes the count. Oh, a headbutt. I'd say nobody wins in a headbutt, but that seems not to be true in this league. Dirty Deeds from Chewbacca. It seems to have drawn blood from the undead scorpion. Who even knew that was possible? And just kicking away. Chewbacca is having none of it today. And another... Oh! Into the last ride! This is just finisher after finisher from our champion! Going for the pin. And he gets it! Chewbacca wins! It seems that even though that was a short match, Scorpion did show a little fight there, and it's hard to blame him for not being able to beat the champion. So, maybe a little props are due. But regardless, I don't think our champ is getting dethroned anytime soon. An impressive showing from the new champion. One of the many early pins Chewbacca made an attempt for. And Sub-Zero is just looking on in shock as Chewbacca just puts his partner in the dirt. There's that distraction that kept him in the match a little longer. Two last rides in one match. Scorpion is durable, if nothing else. Perhaps it's that skeleton stamina. Mm. Even Skeletor should have a talk. Alright.
that's our first match. Let's see. Um, next up, we have a tag team triple threat for the number one contender for the tag team championship. Um, and looking down the line, we also have a number one contender match for the Clash of Titans belt, a number one contender match for the Cosmic King belt, and a, a, a championship match for the Crystal Queen belt. Now, while we're on the topic of championships, before we go too far offline, I want to tell you about an event that's coming up. Two weeks from today, we have a special event coming up called Equal Payback. Now, we've noticed that over the last however long we've been broadcasting, the women have been awfully underrepresented in that they only have a single belt. So we're introducing two new belts. We're inter introducing a women's tag team belt and an extreme belt. Now, the extreme belt will be uh, earned some point during that event, but the tag team belt will be part of a ongoing tournament and this event will have all eight preliminary matches. So yeah, that's our upcoming feature. Tune in in two weeks to see that. Up next, we have a number one contenders match for the Tag Team Championship. Now, um, one of the teams, Team America, had this coming after their last tussle with Team Edge before Fandomania. But the other team's a mystery right now. We know that the Pirates have been looking for a partner, but as far as we know, he never found one. So, who knows what's going on today. But one thing's for certain, Team America's here, and they're gonna try and kick some butt. Introducing first, from the good old USA, Captain America and Guile, Team America! Now it's hard to say, who a favorite would be in this match, not knowing who the other person in it is. But these guys are hard to contest. When Team Edge beat them, it was by an incredibly narrow margin. And I don't think they'll be giving so giving up a second chance. Alright, here comes their opponent. What's the Pyrus' music? Here he comes. He seems to be alone. Well, I guess introducing from Snowden Town, Papyrus. Does he intend to fight them on his own? Pyrus is a fan favorite, but he's not that much of a fan favorite. <laughs> Wait. His partner's coming out now. Who? Whose music is that? Oh my god, it's Metaton! <laughs> this is Metaton's debut in our ring. The man knows his style.
if there's one thing Metaton loves more than wrestling, it's himself. Well, it seems that that match is ready to go. And it seems Papyrus and Amer America is the first one to the ring. Papyrus has a surprising size advantage here, which I never would have guessed, but who knows? He's a particularly large skeleton. But it seems America has the strength to work with. Or Cap? How do we abbreviate his name? Because America's his team. Anyway. Um, seems Captain America is taking a more technical approach here, while Papyrus is just tossing him around, trying to use that size advantage to his, well, advantage. A bridging suplex. Oh, is he setting him up for something? Punching him in the face. That was definitely something that required the setup. Now he's... Oh. It seems America has rolled out of the weird leg grab. And is now picking him up for the same move he got hit with. Ooh. That would probably hurt a lot more if he had calf muscles. Or maybe it would hurt less? Do you think muscles make things hurt more or less? Oh, and a neck breaker. It seems that both Papyrus and Cap are playing the game where they're just trying to weaken their opponent. They know that in a tag team matchup like this, it really matters to make sure that you're putting the damage on your opponent, because then you can switch into a fresh partner. If you're able to keep your opponent from getting an advantage off of switching by disabling one of their uh, combatants, then it really maximizes how much of an advantage you can get out of this. I'd see if Papyrus makes the first tag, and Metaton is making his in-ring debut. A series of quick strikes. And a really flashy thing. Going for an early pin. And Cap kicks out on two. Metaton's still going to try to press the advantage, but Cap's having none of it. Punching him right in his beautiful chrome face. <laughs> Red, white, and blue thunderbomb from Captain America. And now he's going for an early pen. A kick out at one from Metaton. Who's just sad today. Oh. Cap really working that joint. The joints are the right place to try to attack at a robot. As the plates that make up their torso is a little harder. Metaton's already tagging back out. I guess he doesn't want any more dents on that beautiful face. And Papyrus just going with a crazy strike combination into a drop kick. Just beating the hell out of Cap. I'd say I was surprised by this ferocity, but this was the same uh, techniques he showed during his match with Skeletor. Seems like he does have some respect for his opponent, though, giving him the time to get up. Oh, he's cutting him off and putting him in the corner. Tag team move? Is this a finisher? Oh, looks like it! That was beautiful. I'm not sure we have a name for it yet, but 
Clay. Oh, wow! Going for the pin. Oh, Papyrus just... Wow! Immediately! That was quite the surprise. I, I guess Cab never got the chance to tag out and our, uh, our, our new team just, like, ran, ran the train on them. Well, one thing's for certain, friends, we have a new number one contender. Hell of a move to put down Captain America. And quite the teamwork from them with the cover. Well, guys, sometime in the future, seems like Papyrus and Metaton have a match for the championship. Can they dethrone Team Con Air? I didn't think that they were like underdogs or anything, but I didn't see such a definitive win coming. Well, our next match is uh, actually part of the Pepsi Man Open Challenge. Now, for those of you who don't know, uh, Pepsi Man has been run, oh, who is our current Sky Pirate Championship champion, has been running an open challenge where every week he goes into the ring and can call out, or and anyone in the locker room is able to come out and challenge him as long as they're in the Sky Pirate division. Which is like our cruiserweights almost, like the more technical flipsy shit people. Like Bane would have no business here. Now, every, uh, every week we don't know who they are going in. It's a surprise, so some people consider this part of the highlights of our show. Here he comes! Introducing first the champion! Your Sky Pirate Champion! Pepsi Man! This match is scheduled for a one fall and is part of the Pepsi Man Open Challenge! Whoever is the first to score a pin or submission becomes the new Sky Pirate Champion! What? Who's this? Is our... our challenger coming out already? Well, introducing the challenger from Southern California, the White Ranger! Seems that the White Ranger is going for more of an intimidation route today. He's a newcomer to our uh, our division, but I think he'll fit right in.
It seems we're ready to get this fight on the road. And an early lockup. And Pepsi Man goes immediately for a grapple. Now, Pepsi Man's style is very much that of momentum. He tries to get going early in the match and just continues to beat down on his opponent, hoping that he can just score a pinfall before anyone can, like, tire him out. Although he has shown some resiliency in more recent weeks. He's been able to hold the championship for quite a while. Ooh, and a counter. Is the White Ranger going to be able to turn his momentum against him? Oh, with a headbutt! I'm sure that helmet helped. Oh. <laughs> See, I guess this uh, White Ranger still has a bit of green in him. Because he's quite angry. Still showing off those heelish tactics from his earlier years. Also, quite a technical wrestler. That does seem smart against someone like Pepsi Man. To, to slow down the, bat, the match and make sure that every one of your hits counts. Oh, and a reversal from Pepsi Man. If you can do that, then you can just really take control out of his hands. It seems that Pepsi Man is starting to turn it around on the White Ranger. Oh... Yep, there's that momentum with a planting DDT. Oh, going for an early pin. And a kick out on three. Seems the Ranger might not be the most resilient person either, but he hasn't been put out yet. Oh, uh, the Pepsi Man breaks out of the grapple. And turns it around. It's going for another finisher. Product placement! Let's see if he can go for the pin. And three! Pepsi Man wins! Wow! That was quite short. We are having quite a few routes today. I mean, that's Pepsi Man for you. His matches go fast. Because he goes fast. I wonder if we'll be seeing more of this White Ranger. He's certainly an intriguing figure. And there's the finishing move, the product placement, and into the pen. That really does put quite a few people away. Next up, we have a number one contenders match for the Clash of Titans champion. Now, up until Fandomania, um, Bane was our champion, but uh, he was ousted by uh, Saitama, the One Punch Man. Now, normally, Bane would just cash in a, uh, one of his like rematch clauses that he's built up by working here long enough, but um, Stay Puft who was the longest lasting person in the Imperial Buffle, as well as the person who eliminated Bane, decided that he deserved that shot. And now he's here to challenge Bane for his number one contendership to fight Saitama. Introducing first, from Gotham City, Bane! Now Bane doesn't mess around. 
even though Stay Puft had a longer record for him during the Rumble this year, Bane tied him for most eliminations, even after having a title match earlier in the night. comes his opponent. Residing in New York City from the plain of Candyland, your challenger tonight, the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man! Despite his puffy exterior, the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man is no one to be trifled with. He was in the Imperial Bumble for a whopping 11 minutes, which was a record for everyone in it current this time around. Match begins. Oh, Bane goes for an early strike, but Marshmallow Man just grabs his face to distract him. It seems to be a recurring theme already of just grabbing people's faces to stop them. But they are just throwing each other around. Oh, it seems that Bane has gotten an advantage by getting Stay Puff on the ground and wasn't going to let it up, but Stay Puff's already up. Oh, it seems that the reversals are just going back and forth tonight. Strikes can barely land without being deflected and returned. Ben goes for a grab. Oh, he's leading him somewhere. Is he trying to get him outside the ring? Oh, a failed running attack. Is he step up going to be able to take, that, take advantage of that loss of momentum? I believe that was a counter. Yeah, he turns what was supposed to be a throw into a crossbody press. Oh. Wow. That was quite a suplex. Bane is incredibly strong. Due partially, but not entirely, to that constant flow of venom. Oh, here comes a suplex combination. Wow, that was quite brutal. Oh, he's going for the pin. A kick out at two. And Bane does not believe it, which seems... Oh, wow. Just punched the face. Stay Puff puts him in the corner and is just looking at... Oh, he's just... For shame. <laughs> he's really just rubbing it in today. I don't... You have to wonder if Stay Puff is taking this match seriously. Oh, he's up on the top rope. Oh, but it seems Bane was up too quickly. A gorilla press with a psychic adjustment. Psionics are quite common in our league nowadays because of the Crystal League physics. And off the middle rope, a physics bending press or slam or whatever that is. And just beating his skull into the mat. It seems Staypock's getting a little frustrated today. Is that an eye gouge? Well, the ref didn't see it, so I guess that's fair. Bane's in the corner. What does Stay Puffed have planned? A kick! Nice. Oh! 
It's got something else coming. The Smothering Marshmallow! Clearly, that we that wears down on both your opponent's endurance and morale. Going for the pin. And a kick out at two. Now it's Mr. Marshmallow's turn to be a disbelief. Disbelieving? Oh, God. Just throwing him in the air like he's nothing. Clearly a feat of strength from the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man. Oh, Bane's been thrown outside. Are we taking this outside the ring? It seems Stay Puft wants to. What does he have planned in that devious lack of a brain of his? Oh, into the barricade. He's got him up. Oh, he's draping him over the barricade. Oh, ow. I guess that was the intention. He's got a Cobra Clutch with the Psychic Adjustment. And on the ground. The ref's counting. What's he at? Let's see. Seven. Will Bane break the count? He does. Oh. Bane's got him up. And a suplex. I was got some air on that one. Oh, what's Bane doing? Oh no, Bane. Bane's clearing off the table. Clearly he's getting ready to put this Stay Puft Man away. Oh, back in the ring with Bane. Interesting. Oh, wow. Punched him so hard we lagged. Oh, and a backbreaker from Bane. Things people generally forget about Bane. He's actually quite intelligent. So the question is, what does he have planned? Kick to the balls. That's what he has planned. Oh, and a powerbomb. Oh, a double powerbomb. A triple powerbomb? Oh my god. And he kicks out at two. Wow, clearly this Stay Puft is just a monster man of endurance. Going for a suplex. Seems Bane's still just softening him up. Oh, going for a pin. Nope. I guess he kicked out before the, the ref even got there. Another countered suplex with Bane this time. Ooh. Repeated elbows to the sternum. Marshmallow Man has a lot of endurance that's given to him by this ridiculous doughy mass, but there must be a limit to it. Bane's just taunting now. Targeting the arm. Wow. An arm or, No, that's not an arm drag. Whatever. I'm um, going for a headlock. Will the Marshmallow Man tap? Or is he just trying to wear him out? Oh, Marshmallow Man's fighting his way out. And he's free! Oh, he's leading him outside. I think he's trying to. Oh no, just setting him up for a boot. Did Bane take too long? Is the Marshmallow Man trying to finally recover? Also, did he just wipe sweat off his face? Can Marshmallow sweat? Oh, going for another suplex combination. Is that enough?
And the Marshmallow Man kicks out at two again. Going for a choke slam. Bane's down. What's he doing? Oh, he's going for a pin, but did he wait too long? Oh, kick out at three. Bane still got some left in the tank. But can he pin this monster before he outlasts him? Oh my god! And just repeatedly punching him in his stupid, smiling face! This is truly a battle of the ages. And a running knee into the corner. Ooh, a drape thing. Don't know what it's called, but looks like it hurts. Go for the torture rack? Oh, careful, ref. I guess Bane was forced to break it because of the ropes. Oh, we're going for another suplex combination. This is the third one this match. Can Bane put him away? I might have waited too long again. And a kick out on three by the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man. Again and again, these people will hurt each other to the point of no return. And yet they keep coming back. Trading elbows and punches to the face. Another snap suplex from Bane. It seems he's just gotten angry. It seems like he's annoyed that this monster of a marshmallow even bothered to challenge him. He's going for some sort of submission move here. Oh, but he's able to break out with a knee. In this case, I think ha not having bones helped him twist. Oh, Bane tried to set him up for something in the corner, but the Marshmallow Man's having none of it. Is this his comeback? Choke slam from the Marshmallow Man. Drain away from the ropes. Now he's going for the pin. That's three. We have a new number one contender. Wow. Stapoff shrugged off so much punishment in this match. Will our champion Saitama be able to put him away? Truly, I think everyone backstage is quaking in their boots after that showing from the Marshmallow Man. He has some unorthodox moves, but he really knows how to put them to use. and again they tried to just destroy each other but the marshmallow man was able to persevere he got there presenting our new number one contender for the clash of titans championship the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man! Let's take another look at our upcoming event. Two weeks from today, we have another event called Equal Payback, which is introducing so many new women's wrestlers to our division, as well as two new championships, the Tag Team Championship and the Extreme Championship. 
the Extreme Championship will have a have a winner on that night. And every preliminary match for the tag team tournament will be held on that day. So you better tune in, or else you'll miss out on some crazy stuff. Welcome back, boys and girls. We have another match coming up, and it's going to be a good one. Um, this is a fatal four-way match for the number one contendership, the Cosmic King Championship. Now, we have four people all of whom were high performers during the Imperial Bumble. And personally, I think each of them deserves a shot at the championship. But you know, our champion Chewbacca, he doesn't want to fight four people at once. And personally, I can't blame him. But we think that all four of them do deserve something. And for that, they're here tonight fighting each other for their chance at the championship. So let's go to them live now preparing for their match. Introducing first from the land of Grayskull, Skeletor! Now, Skeletor was a surprise, like, competitor in, oh, wow, he's glitching out on that ramp, um, uh, during Phantomania, because he not only beat Papyrus earlier in the night, but got several eliminations during the match, and even got to be one of the final three. He's got some weird shit going on with his entrance, but clearly that means he's figured out how to master the crystals here. And physics means nothing to him. Let's see his first opponent. Who could it be? From the village of Kanoha! Kakashi Hatake! Not sure why I brought a dune buggy, but it's welcome here any day. Kakashi also put in an impressive performance during the, uh, the Rumble. And just has generally been doing well for himself nowadays. We'll have to see if he can squeak out a win today and go on to fight Chewbacca. Quite the fan favorite today. Oh. Okay, here comes the next opponent. It's a. Well, I guess he announced himself. Introducing. From Earth, John Cena! Super Cena also put in quite the showing at the Imperial Bumble. And so it's no surprise to see him here tonight. He's also won our championship a startling number of times. Although he never really holds it all that long. And our fourth and final entrant. Oh, his entrance wasn't done. I ended his music early. Well, enjoy it, Super Cena. You get to do your thing in silence. Anyway, our fourth and final entrant. 
hailing from wherever he was assigned, the Hunter of Metal Gears, Big Boss! At this point, after introducing the other three, it almost goes without saying that Big Boss was, had an impressive showing at the Imperial of Bumble. But he did. He has earned his slot among the Titans here today. See who's got it today. Now remember, this is a fatal four-way match, which means the first person to score a pin is our winner. Wow! An immediate end of days from Gagashi. Seems our competitors are not messing around. So also notable, um, because of the way that our uh, fatal four-way rules are, there are no count-outs. Um... I don't know if there's no disqualification, but it's quite difficult to get yourself disqualified. So the fact that they're fighting outside the ring, no cause for concern. Oh, gosh, he just hopped his way out. All right, I'm guessing it is no disqualification, because Kakashi just pulled out a chair. <laughs> it seems like JBL has already lost his hat, despite the fact that no one has come anywhere near his table. Um, Super Cena is fighting Big Boss in the corner, and Big Boss just punched him out. Oh, Kakashi with an end of days onto a chair. It seems, uh, Solid, or, Naked Snake? Snake has, uh, also learned the psychic chin lock. There's so much going on on the opposite sides of the arena. It seems like there's something for everyone today. Our, uh, our Earth commentators are having quite a bit of difficulty commentating because of uh, Kakashi and Skeletor's shenanigans near their desk. But I feel like that shouldn't hinder them too much. They're sort of used to this type of thing. And a straight punch from Cena puts uh, Big Boss out. A Skeletor seems to want to put them back in the ring. Is this just two one-on-one -on -one matches, or are these people ever going to reconvene? A planting DDT from, uh... Big Boss. Oh, and he's pulled out a sledgehammer! And immediately put it down to knock Kakashi off the ropes. Oh! No, not knock him off! Something far more sinister. He's going for a top rope maneuver. Wow! Some sort of spinning superplex. Go for the pin. But Skeletor breaks it up at two. And throws Big Boss out of the ring. Super Cena picks up the sledgehammer. Oh, how mean-spirited. Skeletor goes rooting around under the ring for something, but Cena just beats him with a sledgehammer before he can actually do anything. Kakashi's trying to interrupt him, but it seems like his psychic hands just aren't connecting today. There we go, some really weird, crunchy suplex thing. And Skeletor is just stomping on Big Boss because he had the balls to stand back up. It seems like Kakashi's really trying to press his advantage on Super Cena there. With just repeated blows to the face. Oh, and Skeletor is tagging along. Meanwhile, Kakashi and Big Boss are... He is riding Big Boss's head like a horse and just slammed it into the ground. I don't know who countered who there, but it ended with Big Boss planting Kakashi into a chair. So I guess he got the better end of it. Meanwhile, Skeletor is just feeling up John Cena while he's in a corner. 
And a suplex. <laughs> Kakashi is being hassled by JBL's hat. And Big Boss has the chair! Oh, Karma. It seems if you get a weapon out from under the, the area, it'll be used against you. Oh, into the stairs. Another Thunderbomb into a submission from Skeletor. Oh, but Cena breaks free. Because of course he does. And Kakashi throws Big Boss back into the 3,000 pound steps. A lot going on today. Uh, running drop from Skeletor. Now Kakashi and Big Boss are just punching each other in the face. But it seems Kakashi gets most of the offense. Skeletor goes for the pin on Super Cena. Kakashi runs in to break it up, but Cena's already kicked out at two. Kakashi seems to be trying to take off his mask, but it is grafted to his face. Cena's back out of the ring, and meanwhile Big Boss was going for a backbreaker, but Skeletor kicks him in the face. Skeletor has Big Boss in a corner. Meanwhile, Cena and Kakashi are grappling outside. Uh, repeated corner kicks from Skeletor. And everyone's back in. Looks like Cena's looking for some sort of finisher. It looks like it's an attitude adjustment. Surprise, surprise. Going for the pin. There were two people going for the pin. I don't know which one is even getting counted, but they're both out now. Skeletor looking downright bored before getting drop kicked in the back by Cena. An impressive throw from Big Boss on Kakashi. Cena going for something on Skeletor. That seems like it hurt both of them roughly as bad, but, but Cena just stood back up. Wow, it's quite a powerbomb from Big Boss. Oh, he almost had the pin, but he kicked out on three. Elbow drop from Cena. Arm breaker from Big Boss, or something like it. He's clearly looking to hurt him real bad. He remembers the basics of CQC. Cena went for a pin, but Big Boss breaks it up. Brutal kick to the chest. Now everyone seems to be interrupting everyone else's moves before physics just slid them around to make it work. Going for some sort of throw? Oh, is he draping him? Oh, Big Boss has seen him in the tree of woe. Oh, with the Wow! Backstabber off the top rope? He's going for some sort of finisher. No, that's just a taunt. Never mind. Thought he was calling for his finisher. Meanwhile, uh, Kakashi and Skeletor are just beating each other outside the ring. But I think Big Boss might be looking for some sort of pin situation here with Cena. Which might not be wise. As Cena is infamously hard to pin. But he's got him back up on the top rope. What's he doing? Wow. I don't know what that was called, but it looks like it pretty much broke Cena's neck, but he's just back up. It seems that Cena's doing his infamous comeback sequence. Big Boss is down, and... He's calling for the five-knuckle shuffle. Skeletor and Kakashi might be too busy fighting each other to actually interrupt this. Luckily, Cena is the cockiest motherfucker and didn't even bother going for the pin. Up here it comes. And a kick out on three from Big Boss! Seems like Cena's showboating was just too much time. And it got... Big Boss, the chance he needed to break free. Oh, he's got him up for an attitude adjustment. But he counters out! 
Meanwhile, Kagashi and Skeletor are still just trading blows. How are they both still standing? Uh, it seems like Cena's going to rectify that situation. <laughs> and Big Boss goes to follow him. And a DDT on the floor. Oh, and Skeletor just tries to destroy Kakashi's calves. Has Big Boss turned this around on Cena? Oh, into the barricade. Oh, and a low blow from Cena, but I guess there's no DQ. And a hip toss from Cena. And Skeletor does something. I still don't know what that's called, but everyone does it. Uh, Kakashi punches Skeletor in the face while Cena just drops his whole weight on his knees <laughs> into this person's face. Kakashi attempting to walk Skeletor back to the ring, but, like, keeps tripping. And then a leaping something. Oh. Wow. These people are just being brutal to each other outside the ring. But this is not Falls Count Anywhere. They still need to get back into the ring to get a pin and win this match. It seems Kakashi might have just remembered that as he's going for Cena, who's still standing. Oh, no, he is sending him away from the ring. Oh, he's doing the head rider thing. Steed of Justice. Yeah, that that might have put Cena away because he's there right on the steel. Another jab to the face. Seems like Cena went for some more offense, but Kakashi countered it. Now he's being walked back to the ring. Oh, now Cena's walking Kakashi back to the ring. And Big Boss is going for some sort of, like, crushy face thing, which is obscured by the camera. <laughs> Kakashi and Cena are going after each other in a Scooby-Doo-esque chase in which they're both getting in and out of the ring. Cena got bored and just punched someone else. <laughs> Kakashi decided it was okay to fight Skeletor, but then Cena broke that up, too. It seems no one's allowed to have fun with John Cena on the scene. <laughs> Skeletor goes for a pin. And they literally watch it happen. Cena and Big Boss just stood there, I guess doubting that he could... <laughs> while Skeletor pins Kakashi. Oh, right, music. Um, congrats, Skeletor, our new number one contender for the Cosmic King Championship. At, at some time in the future, there will be a match between Skeletor and Chewbacca. Wow, that was a knockdown, drag out brawl with quite a surprising ending. They're really just giving it to each other this entire match. Finisher after finisher, and like repeated blows to the face and chest. Now they are standing around while Skeletor pins Kakashi. It seems the ref has a bit of trouble with it, but Skeletor is having none of that shit after all this. After all that, that was quite the fight. Alright, so. Next, we have another grudge match. Now, this is due to the fact that there was one person who just barely didn't make the cutoff on their time to, to make it into that last match. And that person was Handsome Jack. He was in the, the ring for nine minutes, which was almost enough to qualify him for that number one contendership. But he didn't quite make it, and so now he's here because he's pissed, and he is going to try and take that out 
on the person who eliminated him, Zangief. Now whether or not that goes well for him is anyone's game, but we'll have to take a look. Introducing first, from the Hyperion Moon Base over Pandora, Handsome Jack! Handsome Jack is not particularly well liked in the locker room or the fan base here. But damn if he doesn't put on a show. We're not entirely certain what made him think that he was ready to challenge Zangief today, but he did. So we're giving him the benefit of the doubt. And presenting his opponent, from somewhere in Russia, the Red Tornado, Zangief! Now, you can literally see the battle scars on Zangief. He is definitely one of our more experienced superstars, having been a wrestler for much longer than even our uh, promotion existed. And there's the bell. We started this off early, and Zangief is immediately to a pretty dominant start. Trying to ground Jack and just punish him as quickly as he can. I don't think Zangief really has any reason to be here today, and he knows it, but I don't think he'll ever turn down an, an opportunity to show off his skills. And a wicked uppercut from Zangief. Just a flurry of blows. Clearly he has a level of knock. Uh, but it seems that Handsome Jack isn't without offense after all. Although Zangief seems quick to shrug it off. Going for the pin. Oh, and a kick out on three. Already down to three. It seems that uh, Jack might not be the most durable superstar on the roster. Zangief tries to press that advantage while he has it, and just snapping him into the corner. Oh, rake of the eyes, but I don't think the ref saw it. Oh, going for a chokehold. Let's see if he can hold him here. Seems to be doing pretty well for himself. Wow, is he going to be able to get Zangief here? Will Zangief have to tap? Oh, Zangief's fighting his way out. And a blow to the chest. Knocks him free. It seems like uh, Jack is trying to use an array of tactical throws to help negate the size advantage. Now right there, targeting the arm. 
We might not be giving Jack quite the credit he deserves. He seems to be quite a talented wrestler, despite the fact that he, uh, it's a bit of a coward normally. But hey, he's the one who challenged Zangief, so I guess that might not be true of him. When he wants someone dead, he'll do it himself, I guess. Aren't many who could say Handsome Jack is not wrathful. Wow, a drop kick to the balls. It seems the ref is just not enforcing some rules today. <laughs> He's had a day. getting a surprising amount of offense in that. Oh, wow, he has Zangief up! That was an impressive feat of strength. Clearly, he's been uh, lifting. Working out on his off days. In the Hyperion Moon Base exercise room. Is this his finisher? Moonshot! Is he going for the pin? And Zangief kicks out at two and a half. You can see the anguish on Jack's face. Not now, but a moment ago. Zangief just pushing him out of the corner. Wow! Hip toss from Jack. He's really doing his best to keep control of this match. Is there a real fighter under that suit? It seems like there's at least something. Jack might be more of a contender for the championships than we gave him credit for. He's going for some sort of arm breaker. Oh, this is the move he used before. Seems like he's trying to really disable that arm. I guess Zangief would have some difficulty going for his throws without use of his arms. And Jack's showboating. That might not be the wisest decision, but once again, wisdom isn't his strong suit. Wow, a flying attack! I guess he did something. It was quite the jump, if nothing else. A kick to the small of the back. With these targeted assaults. Is it enough to bring Zangief down? A oh, flying punch to the face in the corner. Jack's really trying to make this one stick. But it seems like this offense is taking almost as much out of him as it is out of Zangu. He's got the pen. Is it enough? Oh my god! Handsome Jack wins! Wow. It seems like he was able to pull this one out of the bag by the skin of his teeth. We may not like him, but we have to respect him at this point. What's next for Handsome Jack? And how will Zangief recover from this devastating loss? Assault from both of these people. There's that moonshot again. Zangief was able to kick out. Nice highlight shot there. Glad that's the one you picked. Yeah, but just crawling back.
All right, well, we're on to our final match of the night. Our main event. Now, we've had some pretty big matches so far. But what makes this our main event? Well, it's for one of our two biggest championships. The Crystal Queen Championship. Now, um, I know that uh, the Women's Championships haven't had as much of a reputation for being a big deal. But we're doing our best here at the Cosmic Crystal Wrestling League to change that conception. To the point that in two weeks, we have an event called Equal Payback just in case you missed it earlier in the broadcast. On this day, we will be introducing two new women's championships, the Tag Team Championship and the Extreme Championship. Tune in then to see some of the best women across reality and have a showdown to see who really is the best of the best nowadays. Now, in just a moment, we'll be ready for our uh, final match of the night which is uh, a one-on-one -on -one match between Undyne, who earned her number one contendership uh, at Fandomania, versus Bayonetta, who retained during the latter match. Now, both of these women have proved that they are more than badass enough to be our champion. And so, hopefully, we can get something awesome. This match is scheduled for a one fall and is for the Cosmic or Crystal Queen Championship. Introducing first the challenger from Waterfall under scenic Mount Ebbett, the captain of the guard, Undyne. Undyne's already proved herself as a veritable badass nowadays. But does she have enough to take it off our long reigning champion? Introducing now the champion from Heaven and Hell, Bayonetta! Now, Bayonetta is both an impressive wrestler here as well as a huge fan favorite. For whatever reason, as a champion, she just seems like she has that get back. Maybe it has something to do with the way her cake looks through them. Referee has the belt, and we're getting ready to start our match. And there's the bell. It seems like we immediately went into a collar and elbow tie-up. And we've got some chain wrestling here while Undyne's trying to press her advantage. But Bayonetta's turning it around on her. Oh, this is some incredibly technical wrestling. Oh, but Bayonetta seems to have come out on top. And a slap! Okay, went from incredibly technical to <laughs> almost, like, school fight. That was a hell of a baseball slide kick. Both of these women have some 
really interesting moves in their arsenal. As well as just sheer brutality on their side. An arm drag takedown. Banetta, is she going to go for... Oh! Oh, wow, some sort of kick there. But Undyne countered. She's got her leaning against the ropes. Oh, and a suplex, just because she can. Ooh. Insult to injury there. Oh, but Bayonetta turns it around on her almost immediately. Swift punch to the face and the chest. Ooh. There's a reason that Bayonetta's been our champion this long. Wow, the force on that kick sent Bayonetta flying. Both of these people have supernatural, superhuman abilities. Probably helps that neither of them are human. Seems like they're taking it outside the ring. Now, Undyne needs to be careful with this. Because this is not an Extreme Rules match like she's, she is used to a lot of the time. Now, that means that if they get disqualified and Bayonetta is caught outside the ring for too long... Bayonetta will retain her championship. Champions advantage and all that jazz. Whoa! That was very fancy. Going for the pin. And a kick out of two and a half. And a kick to the back of the head. Ooh, and a stomp. Those heels really come in handy in certain situations like this. Once you get down the whole, like, actually fighting in them. Ooh! Heaven to hell from Bayonetta. Once you figure out the trick to fighting in heels, though, it gives you, like, pretty much a bladed weapon. Taking it back outside the ring, these women are brutal. Slammed into the ground. But an arm drag from Lundine. Is she getting able to turn around on the champ? Win to the post! Oh, and into the barricade. But oh, she's leaning against it. Ooh, head smashed into the barricade. What lies in store? Snap suplex from the from Undyne. And another suplex. And a second suplex. And a third suplex, just because she can. Man, Netta looks just stunned. Going for the pin. Does Bayonetta have it in her to kick out? Oh, wow, at two. Going for some sort of leg lock. Oh, but Bayonetta has seen it before. Breaks out of it almost immediately. Bayonetta's taking it outside once again. What the hell is going on there? Ooh, a throat chop! Oh, and a kick to the head. These people don't mess around. Big boot puts Bayonetta on the ground. Does our champ have enough to turn this around? Or is Undyne going to be our new Crystal Queen champion? In the barricade again. Just beating her. Oh, a suplex onto the ground. Thought that they were going to throw her over the barricade. Oh, Bayonetta turns it around. Oh, back into the ring. Ref is at the six count. 
I think Bayonetta might have just reset the count. Oh, she's clearing off the table. Undyne politely lets her finish. Oh. Onto the ground. Oh, back into the ring to break the count. Who knows how long they'll stay there, though. Not long at all. Whoa! And a shooting star press off the top rope outside the ring. But is that enough to put Undyne away? An elbow. Oh, and a reversal from Undyne. Near the conspicuously empty table. Backbreaker from Undyne. Ooh, that's quite the Punisher. Undyne goes back into the ring. Out for a count of seven. She's taunting. Count of eight. Bayonetta gets counted out. Oh, but that's not how she wants to finish it. it seems like Bayonetta wants to win this or lose it the clean way. Going for that suplex combination again. Is that it for our champion? On a kick out of three! Undyne is shocked that Bayonetta could keep going. Another bridging suplex. Oh. She's calling for something. Spear of Justice! Going for the pin! Oh, and another kick out! Undyne is just full of disbelief. The frustration must be really setting in. Ooh. Undyne seems to just keep getting more and more brutal. Can our champ just keep up? Another suplex into the corner. And into the opposing corner now. Oh, Undyne's put her on the top rope. What does she have planned? Draping DDT! Lifting her up. Back into another corner. If this were a uh, Caribbean strap match, she already would have won. <laughs> Setting her up for a draping neck breaker. Undyne is on a roll. Setting her up for, oh, a counter. Seems that Bayonetta was able to warp her into position. Oh, is Bayonetta mounting a comeback? Oh, wow! Ridiculous roundhouse. Oh, and a kick out on three! Undyne just barely makes the count. Caught off guard by that roundhouse. Ooh. Wow, that must hurt with the heels. Bayonetta's going for the pin again. And Undyne kicks out again. A little less surprising this time. Come on, Undyne. <laughs> After all this, don't give up so easily. Show us that determination. But Bayonetta is going for something different. Uh, something new from her? Oh, wow! What is this? We've never seen this submission move before. Will Undyne have to tap? Or will she force her way out? See, she was able to just outlast Bayonetta. 
Or maybe Van Edge decided to let her out of it. She's going for a pin now. After a submission move? And it worked. Okay. Uh, interesting. Well, Undyne certainly mounted a hell of a fight today. And it seemed Bayonetta was able to just pull out of it at the last second. I have a feeling this isn't the end for what we've heard of Undyne. Wait, hold on. Yes, that's a uh, confirmation from management. It turns out that uh, Undyne here is given a guaranteed slot in the Elimination Chamber match for the Extreme Women's Championship next week. That's a big deal. We'll have to see how that plays out for her. Oh, sorry, not next week. At equal payback in two weeks. May 5th. Okay. May 9th. Bad dates. Some sort of torture. Right? I don't actually know what that moves Paul. We'll have to have an interview with her later. She got the pin. Presenting your winner, and still your Crystal Queen champion, Bayonetta! Well, she earned it. She put up so much through this fight. Well, that's that. Seems like we've come to the eventful conclusion of our night here at the Cosmic Crystal Wrestling League. Now, I hope to see you in two weeks' time at our next event. Equal payback. Once again, here's the poster for anyone who doesn't care. Um, find us at Nick the DM on Twitter, and back at this channel every other week. So, once again, here is Cosmic Crystal Wrestling League signing off.